Welcome back community and today we're going to talk about how to install snap packages on your Pinebook Pro. So your Pinebook Pro is running Debian 9 and a lot of the software tends to be tracking a little bit older, a lot more stable. I like newer software and I like to have my browsers a little bit more up to date than currently what's shipping uh, with the Pinebook Pro with the default OS. So we're going to install snaps. So to set this up we need to install the snapd daemon. So that's sudo apt install snapd. Okay, now that's installed. And to be able to use it um, to where it shows up in the menus and things, we're going to have to reboot the system. But before we do that, we're going to edit our profile and we're going to add the snaps to our path so everything works as expected so we're going to do vim dot profile and then we're just going to go down here at the bottom and we're going to append um, export path equal slash snap slash bin and append our existing path to that and there you go. So now all we need to do is reboot. If I can type. Okay, our system's going down for a reboot. I will catch up with you when it comes back. And we're back. We're in our fresh desktop. We can uh, open up our terminal. And let's see if we can sudo system ctl status snap or it might be snapd we'll find out here yeah snapd and we can see that it's running so that's what we wanted to see right and uh, let's open up our system monitor here and we're we're not really using that much more memory with uh, SnapD running in the background. So don't think that the daemon is going to take up uh, that much more of your memory. So I started the system about 360. I've added the dock, SnapD. Now I'm running about what, 402 here. It's not bad. So let's, let's find out. Do we have it installed? Yep. There we go. So as part of this is let's fire up. Firefox because the question a lot of people are going to ask is, is well great but do snaps come uh, with ARM support so we can uh, search for snapcraft and we'll go to their website and we'll go to the store uh, inside the store we'll we'll look up some and see what supports arms and I'll show you how to do that so from here I want to install the newest version of Chromium, so we'll search for it, and we'll click on it. Now, not everybody's going to include ARM versions, but if you go over here to where the latest stable is, up in the upper right-hand corner, you click on this, you can look at Show Architecture, and you can see here there's ARM64 and ARM HF. So those are supported. So what I'm going to do is if you click on the install button, which is kind of under my thing, but it's over there on the side, it, can sh it shows you the command. So we'll just copy it from here. And then we'll close Firefox. And in our terminal, we'll just um, paste our command, and then we'll install it. So it's it's downloading the, the core snap. Um, it's wiring it all up, and since we've added that to our path, once this is done, we should be able to, to execute it. Uh, it should, should be able to pick up the desktop icons too, so when we start searching, you'll notice that there's two Chrome Chromium icons um, that pop up in the, in the menu. I'm curious what the system's doing. Everybody's curious about the performance of 
of this Poundbook Pro. Uh, CPU usage is not not terrible, and uh, memory usage eh, it increased some, but it's still I think it's still doing pretty good, especially considering it's doing a lot of work right now. There you go. So the default Chromium that gets installed with the Poundbook 78. This is version 79. So now to demonstrate that both will pop up. You can see here are both. One is the snap version and the other one is the, the one that's installed through the dev package. Now, which one's which? Uh, we'll have to go here into properties and look. So that one's the snap right here. So what we can, what we'll do is, is I'll put a snap at the end of it. And in case I went too fast here and you didn't see that, right there you can see the location. Here is inside of snap D. Okay, so now Well, probably should have changed the description here just to be on the safe side. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this just so. Eh, maybe, well, we know it's this first one here, right? And of course, Snap Startup is always slow the first time around. Uh, at least in my experiences, that's what I've found. But that's the price to pay for getting new up-to-date software. And look, there we are. We're on version 79. It's a Snap, and it's 32-bit. And it's running just fine here on the Pinebook Pro. So now, if we... Make this go away here so we don't get getting asked for that um, I'm going to remove the non snap version from my dock I'm gonna close Firefox here and we'll watch the, the version one more time that is the snap and then I'm gonna pin it in my dock here just so I have it and that's it. That's all there is to for getting snaps working on your Pinebook Pro using the default Debian 9 image. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time.